Well, we're at the Diamond Mills uh, Hotel and Tavern in Saugerties, New York. It's our, our brand new place here along the Esopus Creek at the uh, Diamond Mills Waterfall, which is where the name came from. It's a very special property with uh, 30 boutique hotel rooms, a lovely restaurant with an upstairs mezzanine lounge, some private dining, and catering for over 400 guests. It's a beautiful piece of property. It's the entrance to the village and it had been underutilized. Years ago, it was a paper mill. It was the Canton paper mill. Uh, and uh, Mr. Canton was a famous uh, resident of Saugerties. After the paper mill closed, it burned down in the 70s. And so the property stayed uh, vacant for that long and seemed a shame to have such a vacant property as the entrance to our community. It was a brick building, and so we decided to replicate that. And a lot of the architecture was used then. We tried to replicate with, with this building. And we, we think we did pretty well. The draw for this property is the waterfall we have. And it, uh, it runs all year round, sometimes a little stronger than others. We've got a little bit of a dry spell right now, so it's a little quieter than it sometimes is. Well, our plan is to use the waterfall to produce uh, hydroelectric. We've got a permit in now with the federal government. It's a, usually a pretty timely, uh, length, long time to get one of those back. And so we're into it about three years now. We anticipate having another couple of years before we actually get our permit to, to produce electric. But that is how they had their electric for the mill when this was a paper mill. We have some things in the property that are pretty unique pieces of an old barn that we used for the steps that brought us up to this mezzanine up here, which is kind of cool, a, a barn that was in Kingston actually, so something local. It's beautifully appointed, including everything from each room with their own private balcony that looks out over the, over the waterfall to heated floors in the bathrooms. Every time I seem to have my staff stay here, we can't seem to get them out of bed for work in the morning. <laughs> One of the most special things about this property is the fact that I've got a super chef. He is so special and everything he produces is great and the food here is out of this world. So not only do we have this beautiful facility, but we've got a chef that uh, is perhaps equal to it or better than it. I have a more of a, a window to really kind of show off a little bit more than I did in the city with so many great chefs down there, so many restaurants, you kind of get lost in that, that bustle down there, right? So up here, I can easily make a better name for myself. I love seafood. I like working with seafood, which makes it a little bit of a challenge here in Hudson Valley. Eh? Everyone likes to be local and so forth like that. It's a little difficult to get local fish here in Hudson Valley, but we do use sustainable wild caught fish. And I love, you know, using fish. And that's one thing when I first moved up here, I tried to have some fish out and so forth. It's a little difficult to find a really good fish dish anywhere. And I think we've succeeded in doing that here.